Hello folks, this is 2021, October, November, paper 1-3 and question number 15. This thing belongs to the chapter of forces, pressure and density and uh, as you can see, it seems to be something related to volume. It says that diagram shows uh, two blocks uh, X and Y, X and Y here. Block X has a length, uh, sides of length A, all of them as A, so it is cubical. When blocks X is placed in a liquid density rho, with the shaded face level with the liquid surface so that means uh, this thing is uh, level with the liquid surface which means it uh, just drowns let us say it just drowns on the uh, drowns on the liquid just let us say uh, it experiences an of this uh, u so it means that uh, what it has uh, done is it has completely immersed that means it can displace an amount of liquid equal to its volume it can displace an amount of liquid equal to its volume so in the next case, we have block Y has horizontal sides twice A of length A and twice A, twice A and height half A. Block Y is placed in a liquid of density 2 rho, 2 rho, also with a shaded flesh with the liquid surface. That means this is exactly at the liquid surface, which means it also just drowns. What is the obstacle on block Y? So with the obstacle U here in the first body, on the first body, we have to find the force of obstacle here. So let's proceed. The upthrust force is equal to upthrust force is equal to a weight of liquid displaced, weight of liquid displaced, and that's equal to mass of liquid displaced into g. That's equal to rho of liquid, rho of liquid, volume of liquid displaced into z. And here, since in both cases they are fully immersed, fully immersed, this is equal to rho of liquid. And then it is a volume of the solid into Z. Because in this case, volume of solid equal to volume of liquid displaced because they are fully immersed. Now here, in the first case, we have got force of upthrust U is equal to, this is rho, Vs is equal to, this is cubical, so it is A cube and then Z. So this is the force of upthrust in the first case. In the second case, it will be equal to, the new force of upthrust will be, U prime will be equal to the density here is a 2 rho here, 2 rho, 2 rho, then the multiplication of the sides will be equal to 2a into a by 2 into a, then, 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 then g. So this is volume, this is also volume here. That's equal to 2, 2 cut, it is a cube, 2 rho, then a cube g. So therefore, we'll have U prime by U is equal to. 2 rho a cube z divided by rho a cube z so this and this goes so what remains is u prime is equal to simply 2 into u so that means the new force of of thrust will be equal to equal to twice of the previous which is in choice number c so c should be the correct choice ultimately what happens here is the volume of liquid displaced is same in both it is a cube here a cube there the only difference is done by the density of the liquid. It is 2 rho here and it is rho here. So volume was same, but because of the difference in densities, the upthrust was different.